Type in your name. Hey kids, I'm Dr. Rabbit. To have the story read to you, click over here. To play inside the story, click here. Alvin raised his hand and in an excited voice said, Mr. Bonilla, we had so much fun learning how to take care of our teeth. Can we share it with the younger kids? Mr. Bonilla nodded his approval. My little brother lost his two front teeth, said Antonia. He needs to know how to take care of his baby teeth so his permanent teeth come in healthy. Then he'll have a great smile. What about doing a play? asked Renata. Yes! the class exclaimed. We can do it! The class divided into groups. All week they worked on their play, which they called Bright Smiles, Bright Futures. They wrote the script assigned parts, and practiced. The class chose Alvin to be the director. Now, we just need to finish our costumes and plan the tasting party, he said. After school, the girls quickly chose sides for volleyball. Renata rushed toward the net to return the ball. She leaped into the air without effort as the ball came toward her. Mira ran for the ball at the same time. Her elbow barely missed Renata's mouth. Watch your elbow, said Renata. These are my permanent teeth. If I lose one, another won't grow back. Besides, I like my smile, just the way it is. Suddenly, Emet stormed onto the playground. His face looked like a thundercloud, and his usual smile was gone. Renata noticed right away. Uh-oh. She sighed softly, skipping off the court. Hey, Emet, what's wrong? Called Sumet. His friends gathered around him. Emet muttered, I won't wear that silly costume. Oh, no, said Alvin. You can't do that to me. Who will play Dr. Rabbit if you don't? I agreed to be the dentist in this play, but I did not plan to be called Dr. Rabbit, and I won't wear a rabbit suit. And I won't talk like a rabbit either. Who came up with that idea anyway? Sumet smiled with amusement. 
Everybody looked at Mira. I did, and I think little kids will like it. Mira said, defending her idea. Since it was your big idea, you'll be Dr. Rep, said Emet. Then it's settled, said Alvin with relief. But I'm in charge of the food tasting party, said Mira. Not anymore, Emet. That's your job, said Alvin, hurrying away before anyone could say anything more. How did I get to be Dr. Rabbit? I don't know how a rabbit talks, said Mira. The next day was dress rehearsal. Let's do the whole show, start to finish, said Alvin. Mira, you're on. Do I have to? A voice whined from behind the curtain. Yes, you do! Everybody yelled in unison. When Alvin gave the signal, the curtains opened. In the middle of the stage stood Mira, dressed as Dr. Rabbit. In a slow, jerky monotone, Mira began. Good morning, students. Mr. Benia's class welcomes you all to Bright Smiles, Bright Futures. I'm, um, Dr. Rabbit, the dentist. We'll sing and act and dance and show you how to keep your teeth and gums healthy and how to grow up to have a happy, healthy smile. She turned stiffly toward Sumet, saying flatly, Our first act is the happy, healthy food song with our singers, the Food Choices. Their song will help you choose good snack foods. Let's hear it for Sumet and the Food Choices. With a mechanical turn, Mira clump bumped off stage. Loosen up, Mira, Alvin whispered not knowing that the microphone was picking up his voice. Everyone <laughs> laughed. Alvin, you got me into this. Hey, Dr. Rabbit was your idea, he said, shrugging. Yes, but I didn't want to be Dr. Rabbit. The first act began. Okay, everybody, Sumet said. Put your hands together. Now get the beat. One, two, three, four. He made a quick triple spin, then began to sing. Snacking to Job, said Alvin. Everyone agreed that the happy, healthy food song would be a big hit. The dress rehearsal lasted all afternoon. The students were ready with their play and their happy, healthy smiles. Come on, Mira. Can't you put a little life in the part? Alvin asked Mira as they walked home from school. I'll try, Mira promised, but she wasn't excited.
after a week of planning and practicing, they were ready for their play. From backstage, Renata and Antonio watched as bright-eyed students filed into the room. With a perky smile, Dr. Rabbit gave each child a toothbrush and fluoride toothpaste. Remember, brush at least twice a day, after you eat and before bedtime. Dr. Rabbit bounced onto the stage. The children laughed and cheered. I'm Dr. Rabbit, your friendly dentist. Kids, what part of your body helps you bite, chew, talk, and smile? Our mouth! Our teeth! The kids answered. Alvin was surprised. Mira's acting was great. And she really had disguised her voice. Smile if it's smart to care for your baby teeth, said Dr. Rabbit. The kids smiled widely. A way to keep those great, big, wonderful, bright, healthy smiles is to not snack all the time. Way to go, Mira, said Alvin. Dr. Rabbit introduced the Happy Healthy Food song. Backstage, Antonio whispered, Mira is really awesome. And wow, she even sounds like my dentist. Renata agreed. Next, Antonia came on stage. Hello, Dr. Rabbit, she began. I'm your good friend Toothbrush, she said to the audience. And this is my partner, Toothpaste with Fluoride. Brushing with fluoride toothpaste makes your teeth stronger and helps prevent cavities. Just squeeze a little toothpaste on your brush, said Dr. Rabbit. Then brush your teeth after eating and always before bedtime. Here's how you do it. The curtains opened. Antonia began her act, pretending to be a toothbrush. She swished the soft bristles with short, gentle strokes over every tooth and along the gum line. Dr. Rabbit added a few words. Brush every tooth on the outside and on the inside and on the top where you chew. That way, you take away food before it works with sticky plaque. Plaque germs make acid, which can cause cavities. Brush away the plaque to keep your gums healthy, too. Antonia was ready to leave the stage. But Dr. Rabbit went on. And don't forget your tongue. What? She asked, confused. Well, okay. Then she quickly swished her bristles over the tongue, too. Good job, Mira. Antonio whispered to Dr. Rabbit as she left the stage. But how did you know about brushing your tongue? We didn't learn about that. As she swished off stage, Antonia turned and spied Mira coming into the back of the room. At the same time, so did Alvin. Puzzled, they looked at Dr. Rabbit, then at Mira again. Mira pointed to her arm, which was wrapped in a cast. Two more important things to remember, Dr. Rabbit continued. Don't share your toothbrush and replace it before it gets worn out. Isn't that right, toothbrush? Uh, yes, Antonia called back. And she wondered, how did Dr. Rabbit know so much? Thank you, toothbrush, for showing us how to brush, called Dr. Rabbit. Antonia skipped back on stage and bowed. She took one last glance at Mira, then back at Dr. Rabbit, just to be sure. Who's in there? She whispered.
What happened, Mira? I broke my arm. It'll be okay. But I'm late. Then, Mira, if you just got here, who's playing Dr. Rabbit? Renata asked. Emet? I guess. Alvin shrugged. He knows the script. But Dr. Rabbit added some things, said Antonia. It sure didn't sound like he meant, said Renata, who wasn't convinced. Yikes! It's time for my flossing dance! She hurried out on stage. Renata and her partner fluttered between two rows of teeth. They curved the long, colorful flossing ribbon into a C-shape around each tooth just below the gum line. Then gently, they moved up and down, cleaning away food and plaque between the teeth. Dr. Rabbit talked as they danced. Use floss to remove tiny bits of food and plaque that your brush may miss. Floss gently between your teeth to keep your gums healthy. Renata danced over to Dr. Rabbit. How do you know all that? Is that you, Emet? But Dr. Rabbit didn't answer. Emet, answer me. Is that you? She asked as she twirled her floss past Dr. Rabbit again. The rabbit winked. Renata's dance ended. She was confused. Who is Dr. Rabbit? She didn't think it was Emmet. Off stage, Alvin was even more confused, especially when Dr. Rabbit added more to the play. Have a dental checkup regularly. At the dental office, we check your teeth, take pictures of your teeth, and clean them to remove the plaque you may have missed. Sometimes we put on fluorides and sealants. That rabbit's not following the script, exclaimed Alvin. Dr. Rabbit continued. If you take care of your teeth, you can have a bright, healthy smile and feel good about yourself, too. Now, let me see those smiles. Oh, you'll take care of them, won't you? The children broke into big, toothy grins. Thank you, my smiling friends. That ends our program. Now, join us for our tasting party. Dr. Rabbit bowed and quickly hopped off stage. Follow that rabbit, said Alvin. Alvin, Renata, Mira, Antonia, and Sumet chased after Dr. Rabbit, who ducked around the corner and disappeared. They followed, ending up in a classroom with Emmet. He was putting the last plate of fresh fruit, yogurt, and cheese on the table. But before he could nibble, Alvin stepped forward with his arms folded across his chest. Okay. Amet, did you play Dr. Rabbit? Huh? I've been here the whole time. I thought Mira did. Now they were all puzzled. Then who played Dr. Rabbit? You sure knew a lot, said Alvin. Uh, look over there, said Antonia. Isn't that Dr. Rabbit's costume? Right where we left it after dress rehearsal? continued Alvin. Puzzled, they all looked at the costume, then at Mira, then at Emet. Alvin said softly, You weren't Dr. Rabbit, and you weren't Dr. Rabbit, so who's Dr. Rabbit? Great job, kid! And don't forget to brush at least twice a day with fluoride toothpaste, visit your dentist regularly, limit sweet and sticky snacks, and floss every day. Do you really want to quit? 
Well, okay. We'll see you later. Hey, kids. I'm Dr. Rabbit. To have the story read to you, click over here. To play inside the story, click here. You've heard about plaque, right? Well, here's how it works. We all have plaque in our mouths. Yes, all of us. But when this bacteria meets up with sweet foods or drinks or starchy foods like crackers or pretzels, look out! That's when plaque creates acid in your mouth. It's called the plaque attack. And it can last up to 20 minutes every time you eat a sweet or a starchy snack. And it's during this attack that tooth decay can happen. Here's something you can do about it. Eat your snack all at once instead of little bits at a time. Here's why. Eating five pieces of your snack at once leads to one plaque attack. But if you nibble on it five different times, you expose your teeth to the plaque attack five times. That's a big difference.